Hello, and welcome to Crossword Radio. My name is Tom, and this is the New Yorker crossword for Friday, September 24th, 2021. Uh, if you are someone like me who has solved the New York Times daily for many years, you may not be familiar with the New Yorker. Um, I don't know exactly how long they've been publishing uh, crosswords, but they do it three times a week, Friday, uh, Wednesday, and Monday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, better way to say that. Um, and they also publish a cryptic on Sunday if you are subscribed to the New Yorker. Um, I believe the daily puzzles are free, but the cryptic on Sunday is not. You have to, I think it's 60 bucks a year. Um, anyway, uh, I think it's actually a really good crossword and definitely has its own unique style compared to the New York Times. You know, like I said, the New York Times is the golden standard crossword if you've been solving crosswords for a long time uh you know you get used to the kind of clues and things like that that the new york times will do uh will shorts has been the editor there for since 1993 so going on 30 years uh, uh but new yorker definitely has its own style and i think can be really good uh very very devious uh clues uh Anyway, uh, let's get started. Oh, and I should mention that all the uh, all of the New Yorkers crosswords are themeless. They don't have themes, and their difficulty is actually the reverse of uh, most other crosswords, where they start on Monday is the easiest and Saturday is the hardest. Uh, Monday is the hardest puzzle for the New Yorker, and Friday is their uh, easiest. So today being Friday. Uh, this is their easiest of the weekly puzzles. So let's see. Look within. Not sure. Classification unique to Midnight Cowboy among best picture winners. Classification unique to Midnight Cowboys. No idea. Sounds like it might end in est, maybe. Like the first, like four down. Small thing to pick, so no. It's a nit. Uh, you know, nitpicking you are. Uh, arguing against something by looking for tiny little uh, things, so I think that's it's probably a knit. Common crossword glue. Classification unique. Yeah, I just don't know. Absolutely loses it over. Goes nuts over. Goes something like that over. Engages in some retail therapy shops, probably. You feel me? So it's going to be some uh, hopefully not too cringy. Internet speak. Briar Patch actress Dawson. Well, Rosario Dawson. I don't know that movie, but I know Rosario Dawson. Funny thing happened on the way to the forum setting. That must be Rome. Thailand's continent, Asia. Sharply acidic. Tart. You feel me? Am I right? Poet Award Nobel Prize in 1923. Keats? Tart? What is this again? Look within. What? Is that not how you spell Keats? What's this? Like four down. Ugh. Looks like that's going to be an I if that's an NG. Irish? Maybe it is Keats. Oh, an R rating. Or X rating, maybe. X ray. Yes, look within X ray. Okay. Yeats. Yeats, not Keats. Yeats. Barnyard Billy. Uh, a he goat? Is that a word? He goat? Goes gaga over? There's a lot of G's. Goes gaga. Diatribe is a rant. Attribute of a big head. Ego. Put up as a statue. Erect. Stuck doing the same old thing. You're in a rut if you are stuck doing the same old thing. Young den denizen. A bear cub, maybe? Cub? Could be smooth talker. Could be glib. Let's see, what's this big long one? Ooh, nice grid spanner. 1968 Steppenwolf hit that references Aladdin's lamp. The only Steppenwolf song I can name is... What is it? Born to be wild. That's, and I don't know any other ones. 
Odes Malik. It's Rami Malik. Hershey Candy and a gold foil wrapper. Uh, a Rolo. Kisses are usually silver wrappers. A Rolo must be gold wrapper. Mars Greek counterpart is Aries. Moroccan. I don't know. Old fashioned garnish. Also, not a garnish that is old fashioned, but a garnish for and old fashioned. The drink and old fashioned. That would be an orange, possibly peel zest, maybe. Period of penitence. That would be Lent. And the penitent man shall pass. Ace attorney is a legal eagle, I believe. Is that phrase? Casual shirts or tees. A term of endearment. Like honey or baby or whatever. Osiris. They're going to go to the afterlife. Yep. Oh, magic carpet ride. I didn't know that was Steppenwolf. I only know it really from Awesome Powers. Okay. A list. It's the honor roll. As in like you're, you know, people who get A grades. Five for a political seat. It's to run. Outburst accompanying an eye roll perhaps. Outburst accompanying an eye roll. Hmm. Uh, police or something. Is that it? Is that how you spell police? Throne. Yeah, I don't know. Excuse me. Throne. John, maybe? Turlet? Pantry containers. Jars, though? Maybe it is police. Big name in casinos and gaming. Hmm. Takes pitches. Takes pitches. Open honeydew or melons. Wishes undone. Regrets. Monetary unit equal to A, 42 across. So it must, looks like cent and penny to me. So, yeah. Big name. I still don't know. Takes pitches. Grouchy ladybug. Arthur, that was Eric Carl. There's also the hungry, uh, hungry caterpillar. Is that it? Caterpillar? I'm just going to put police in here. I think that was right. I still don't know. Feeling of humiliation, shame must be served with a scoop. Served with a scoop. Uh, I don't know. Light as a feather and stiff as a board are similes. I have to watch for that sometimes. Uh, they're not describing. You know, we don't want you to guess something that is as light as a feather and as stiff as a board, but literally those are you know idiomatic phrases that are similes because they have the as in there. Tyler of Ad Astra. Oh, God. Uh, actors and actresses, I don't really know. Tyler, Liv Tyler, was she in Ad Astra? Mountaineering Mecca, Everest, of course. Muslim ruler and emir, like, uh, uh, if you're not familiar with that phrase, you know, there's like the United Arab Emirates. So an emirate is a, a government ruled by an emir. It's like you might have a sultanate or something like that. Usually that's like, uh, you know, Muslim things. Long-legged coastal bird as heron. Part in a production is a role, like a, an actor. Terms of open. Alamode. Aha. Which is odes. If it was Keats, it might be odes, but it's Yeats. A bird that usually is sticky in a nest. Ah, sticky, like what is brown and sticky? It's a nest. I get it. Uh, borscht belt. Portent, maybe an omen. Denada, no prob. Ring on a soda can as they popped up. Pent, cooped up, pent up. If you see this uh, little construction here with the parentheses, it means uh, that cooped up. The, you, you put the phrase in the parentheses after the that word too, and that's how you get them to mean the same sentence. Like you don't really need necessarily the parentheses to. Uh, make that be true, like a clue could just be cooped, and then the answer would be pent. They just would have to figure out that that was the sense of the word that they meant. Um, but that's just to kind of help you get the right sense of the word. Uh, so you'll see that more often on the easier puzzles, like on the Fridays for the New Yorker. Um, uh, again, just not strictly necessary, just so you might see brackets uh, in the New York Times or something like that. Uh, do a similar thing. Just to help out. Okay, let's go. Psych, not. Come on, Borat. Societal standard is a norm. Man of the hour. 
uh, Father Time, I guess. Yeah, there we go. Uh, the question marks in crosswords usually indicate some kind of wordplay. And again, you don't strictly need a question mark. And the more difficult the puzzle is, you, there might be a clues without a question mark that really could use one. But so that's worth saying. A man of the hour, you know, uh, a man associated with hours would be Father Time. Uh, nerd alert. Demo unit that may be sold at a discount. Uh, it's like a floor model. Yeah, if you look. One that was on display, like a TV or whatever. Tool of the blade is a hoe. Gave a once over eyed, perhaps. Enthrall with a tail. Regale. Take a shine to, right? Buff. So rather than the usual phrase of you take a shine to something, take a liking to something, uh, this question mark indicates, you know, don't go with your first intuition for that uh, phrase. So you're literally shining something, you're buffing it. This is the worst. Ugh. Rubber ducky say is a bath toy. That's money on the line. Wrapped. I still don't know what this is. Takes pitches. Bats, I guess, if you're batting on a baseball diamond, you're taking pitch. There we go. Uh, X rating, uh, yeah, because I, I think the X rating was only around uh, for a very short time. Like, I don't think that exists anymore, or as high as it goes. Um, and the truly outlandish stuff, you know, just doesn't get an official rating. It's just someone, you know, posts it to their snuff film website or whatever. Anyway, there we go. Uh, 953. Obviously, normally be faster if I wasn't uh, trying to explain some things, although not like I slowed down a ton. Uh, I was assuming a lot about that you know <laughs> a lot about crosswords there. Um, and that will become more uh, more evident on the harder puzzles where it definitely will take me long longer anyway and probably require more explaining. Um, but yeah, there we go. That was the New Yorker for uh, Friday, September 24th. I thought it was a good one. Again, very Pretty simple, nothing too uh, too difficult as far as phrases and, and things you need to know. That's the thing about crosswords. Uh, once you get used to them, I know some people that don't do crosswords think that, oh, you need to be some super uh, history buff or uh, know a lot of trivia or uh, have a really large vocabulary or something like that to do crosswords. You don't really, I mean, there's a little bit of that obviously um, but like obviously I didn't know Yates but I was still able to get that um, uh, it's more about deciphering what it is that the clue is asking you that's sort of the, the puzzle of a crossword is not necessarily knowing a ton of stuff um, or being super smart or anything it's just deciphering the clues uh, like I, yeah like I don't didn't even look at this clue, White House Chief of Staff. I certainly would not have been able to n certainly know that as a point of fact. But I was just I, you get it through crosses, and that's okay. Um, and there's certain things, uh, like Magic Carpet Ride again. I didn't even know that was by Steppenwolf. Did not know the reference. But once you get enough of the letters, you're like, oh right, because I think probably most people have heard the song, Magic Carpet Ride. Um, even if they didn't know the lyrics or uh, know the band. Anyway, uh, that's it for now. I will be back on Sunday with the Cryptic. Uh, that'll be an interesting one. If you've never solved a Cryptic before or know what they're about, it's a totally different kind of puzzle. Um, a lot of fun. All right. Uh, see you then. Bye.